my bunnies, it's Tiki Strangits here, and today I have for y'all another polymer clay tutorial. Today we're going to be making Teddy from Conker's Bad Fur Day on the Nintendo 64 console. I'm pretty happy with how he came out, although I don't like the, his eyebrow arch. kind of looks like hair rather than an angry brow, monobrow, I guess whatever you want to call it. And I wish I would have made his head a little bit more squished looking. If you look up a reference photo, you'll see what I'm talking about. But overall, I'm pretty happy with how he came out. And this week was a pretty crazy week of me working on a personal project, plus two Etsy sales, plus this. So, as for all that that I had to get done this week, I'm pretty happy with how he looks. And he's going to be listed for sale tonight, Friday, tonight. Hopefully, I'm actually getting this video up tonight. <laughs> Friday, August 16th. I should have known that. <laughs> But he's going to be listed as a group listing along with Conkers, and they're both $20 each, the usual price. The link to my Etsy shop is in my YouTube channel. It's also in my Twitter bio and my Instagram bio through my link tree. Lastly but not least, next week video, I'm going to be making another tutorial from, well, another sculpture from the Showdown Bandit. If you remember, a couple weeks ago, I made the Bandit himself. Next week coming up, I'm going to be making The Undertaker to go along with him as a group listing. Don't mind me, just putting his little strings back in place. Yeah, the strings are for looks, but, you know, they're a little pain in my butt. Because, you know, when you're moving, they start falling around everywhere like a real marionette. <laughs> but anyways, that's enough talking. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial, and I hope it's easy to follow along. Let's get into this. See you guys there. Alright, for this tutorial you're going to need the following colors, tan, hazelnut, and you'll also need black and silver, I just forgot that included in the photo. First we're going to get started with the hazelnut, and pre-roll all the balls that we're going to need, like so. To get started we're going to go to the ball in the middle here on the very bottom, you're going to roll that into a chubby teardrop shape, just like this. Then you need it to be flat on the bottom, so just pick it up and press it against your work surface gently. Voila! That way it'll be flat on the bottom, but still pointed and round on the top. Then just tip it over on its side and cut off the top nib. <coughs> Excuse me. Then stick a toothpick in it for stability. And next we're going to go on to the head. He has no neck. Apparently he is part of the no neck gang. <laughs> well, I guess his torso slash body is his neck. Anyways, we're going to use this ball right here. And rolling it back and forth between your index finger and thumb, make it into an egg-like shape. Then put it in the palm of your hand and press down gently near the top, right where this indention is, to kind of make that caved-in look. Like I said in the beginning, you can pinch his head more to make it a little more cone shape. You, use a reference photo for to help you out. Next, we're going to go ahead and move on to his legs. And I'm going to take these two balls right here and pre-roll them into teardrop shapes. They're about two inches in length. Then using my index finger and thumb, I just kind of pinch the end of them to make little feetsies. Then I just cut the top parts off at an angle so that they'll be cut on a bias, like so. And I cut it down to about an inch in size, so about half the size. Then I just stuck these little flat parts on the back of the body. You can blend them if you like to, but I actually didn't blend it this time actually don't blend it because I take the legs off a lot to kind of work with them so it'll be easier. Next we're going to use these two balls to make the arms. Do what you did with the legs, pre-roll them into almost two inch long teardrop shapes but instead of pinching, press them down with your finger to make it look like little palm, not palms, like little bear paws. And that's what it'll look like from the front to side angle. That's why I turn one to the side to make it more easy to understand. Then I cut off the tops, just like I did with the legs. But here, I went on ahead and bent the arms into the shapes that I wanted. One is kind of bent to the side, the other one's bent like kind of downward. And then the one that's bent to the side, I just put this little metal piece in the inside and curled it over so he can hold the knife later, so he looks more like Teddy from Conkers. <laughs> and then I just used my X-Acto blade to indent little fingers. And now we can move on to the ears. You can leave the um, arms detached for now too. Just use your dotting tool to poke two holes in the center. Sorry, that's blurry. Then just cut the bottoms off so they'll be nice and flat. Voila. And then just go ahead and stick these onto the head where it seems appropriate in length and size. 
like about right here. Then I also blended the ears onto the head. As you can kind of tell, it's smeared around a little. Next, I just... Oh, this is where I showed you where I was blending it. Well, I was ahead of myself. <laughs> then I took my X-Acto blade and indented lines so it looks like it's kind of like sewn up, like how he looks in the game. So I just did lines all over his body using the reference photo. Next, I forgot one little ball here, and this is for his like eyebrow or his monobrow. Just pinch it in between your index fingers and thumbs until you get a triangle shape, and then just put it on the head. Then, so it kind of looks like it goes on the head, blend the top part into the head, like so. And then take your X-Acto blade and go down the middle to kind of make the sewn pattern on his little eyebrow thing, like that. Next, we're finally going to go on to the tan color clay, which is right here. And again, I'm going to pre-roll all the balls I need, and hopefully I don't miss a ball this time. Like this. And we're going to start with the two teeny tiny balls at the top. And you're just going to put them inside of the ears and press down with your little dotting tool to kind of make them look like the inside color of his ears. And it should look like this once you press it with the dotting tool. It'll just kind of spread out and become flattened. Next, we're going to make his mouthpiece. And just like with Conker's, all you need to do is kind of roll it in back and forth in between your fingers until you get the shape that you want, like this. Roll it on the right side, then on the left side, then on the right side, then on the left. And you'll get this oblong shape, and then just press it onto the face, very gently, so you don't destroy the whole shape. <laughs> then using your X-Acto blade, did what you did with the little eyebrow, and just indent the line down the middle. And then also kind of make this crooked mouth he has by just dragging it across diagonally. Next, we're going to make his little stomach fur with this big ball, just roll it into a very long teardrop shape, and just stick it onto his actual body and smush it down real nice and tight and cut off the excess with your X-Acto blade. Then take your X-Acto blade again and do the line down his stomach for his stitch pattern. And then we're going to go on to the last two tan color balls, and these are going to be for his feetsies, so you're just going to take them and smush them right onto the feet. I just use my X-Acto blade to kind of smush them really flat. It just is a little easier than your finger in this case. Then I just went on ahead and put in two beads for his eyes. Then I realized I forgot to make the knife, so I grabbed the black clay. This is blurry again. I'm having a night. And I'm just going to roll a very small ball into a cylinder shape, like this. And then you just need one side to be flat, so just cut it off right where that top line is. Voila, now it's about a half an inch in size. Next, you're going to need the silver color clay. But before you do that, go ahead and stick it in his hand with the flat side facing up. Then take the silver color clay. Again, roll out a pretty small ball, about an inch in di half an inch in diameter for this ball. Just roll it out into an oval shape. And then just cut out the shape of a knife by cutting out a rectangle but with a curved top. Then the flat side just stick onto the base of the nice knife handle. My god, I can't talk tonight. And then just do a line on the front and the back to make it look more like a knife. Then you can go ahead and just stick his arm on just to make sure everything looks nice and good. Then I indented for the nose because I also realized I forgot his nose. And I just rolled out a very, very teeny tiny smallest ball possible for his nose. And I just rolled this little ball into a kind of like an oval shape and just stuck it in this hole. Voila. And I know his eyes look a little off center, but his eyes do look off center in the game, so reference photo. Now I took the arms back off, and we're going to take black acrylic paint and just any kind of tool you prefer, a dotting tool, a rubber tool, or a paintbrush. And you're going to paint little lines and X's all over his body on all these, um, on all these seams like this. Then wait for that to dry, and then go ahead and you can glue his arms back on now. Then you're finally done with construction. You can get your X-Acto blade and gently take his eyes out of his head, because we don't bake plastic acrylic beads in the oven because they'll melt. Then bake him for 350 degrees for 12 minutes in a gas oven, or 9 minutes at 350 degrees in an electric oven. While he's baking, go ahead and get, take whatever wooden base you want, or no base at all, it's up to you, and paint it whatever color you like. I think black was suiting. Then, once he's out and cooled off, you can take Loctite glue or any super glue and glue in his eyes. 
a little glue goes a long way. As you can see, I smeared it a little bit, but it's okay. The glaze will cover that up, but be careful. Then once that's fully dry, I use E6000 to glue him down to the base. This is what he looks like. Once that has dried for a little while, then you can take some red acrylic paint and a paintbrush using your thumb, just kind of pull the paintbrush back with a little bit of paint on it, splatter him, put up a paper to cover your desk because it's going to get messy. Then he should look like this once he's done, and I just think the splatter paint effect is just so cool. Then glaze him two times and you're done. Thank you guys so much for watching and stay tuned for next week's video. Bye bye my bunnies.